going plat plat only. Going plat plat only. Going plat plat only. It's official, ladies and gentlemen. Eminem, Marshall Mathers, Slim Shady, Mr. I'm Slim Shady, yes, I'm the real Shady, all you other Slim Shadies, has just officially went platinum with the Kamikaze album in the United States. What did I tell y'all? Huh? What did I tell y'all? Of course. Of course it's gonna happen. Durr. It'd be weirder if it didn't. But I think this goes back into my narrative of how um, hip-hop is changing. The world is changing. Um, it's pretty bl blatantly, flagrantly changing. Now, before I get into that, that whole article, that whole story, um, this is my third time filming this. I don't know why um, my phone recording has been acting absolutely crazy lately. Um, it takes... An, like, it takes us like three to four takes to shoot the Mumfu podcast now. I don't know why. Ever since I updated my phone, my camera, like, if y'all noticed my last live stream, I just cut out for no reason. My camera just cuts out now for absolutely no reason. I don't know why. It don't matter if I'm live streaming. It don't matter if I'm shooting. My camera just cuts out. Just cuts out. It's not because it's dead, not because it's overheating, nothing else. Just cuts out. So I'm extremely frustrated right now because I shot the last one, it was like 13 minutes long, and then it just shut off and deleted itself. 13 minutes of footage, just deleted itself for no reason. So, let me start this off by saying, shout out to everybody, everybody, everybody who listened to my Vic Mensa diss track that I dropped last night, Vic Menstra. Now, the reason why I did that song, today's live stream, <coughs> we're gonna be talking about the song, we're gonna be breaking down lyric for lyric, and uh, I also got a music video coming soon too for it, um, but we're gonna get way more in depth uh, about it later on in the live stream today at 8 p.m. Eastern, make sure you tune in. Um, I'm going to just say it like this. The reason I did it is because I was just sick of a lot of things. I was sick of a lot of things. If y'all been watching this for a long time, y'all seen when I initially said, I want to diss Vic, Vic Mensa. Like, should I diss Vic Mensa? And a bunch of y'all said, yeah, and I still didn't do it. But it was a few videos that had dropped that just made me be like, you know what? I really realized that nobody's going to say certain stuff. That's why I did. I was like, okay, so nobody's going to. And I saw people trying to be like, well, we don't know for a fact if they dropped it before or after X died, like the idiots of everyday struggle were saying that. Like, I don't know why we have to do that. I don't know why, like, we can just let people piss down our leg and then say it's raining, but it's like, bro, the second he says the, like, white people burning his Nikes, and then you even entertain the fact that he could have done that before X died, is like, okay, well, then either you're just an idiot or you want a Vic Mensa interview, and I don't care. So... Let me just say that by, I mean, now YouTube, what they do when a video is not advertiser friendly is they give it the yellow strike, uh, the yellow uh, monetization bar. Now the yellow monetization sign doesn't necessarily mean it's not monetized, but it might as well be because it means it's getting a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of what you're supposed to get paid. And not only that, but YouTube doesn't promote it because they're not getting money for it. Because if I get paid, they get paid. If I'm not, they're not. So they're like, we got billions of videos to, we don't care about this. So let me tell y'all, that video was a yellow monetized from the second I uploaded it. The fact that it has 11,000 views right now, the fact that it has 11,000 views right now, only means one, it means two things. One, probably would have 20,000 views right now if uh, wasn't for that. Two, y'all are the great, man, listen. Hey, SFJ Nation, come over here. What happens when I appreciate y'all and don't even blink? Huh? What happens when I appreciate all the love y'all give me and don't even blink? Shout out to y'all, man. 
Keep listening to that. Keep um, uh, uh, bumping it. Keep liking, commenting, and make sure that y'all streaming strictly for the fans EP. Make sure y'all doing that. I don't get my numbers from the streaming things for like two months, and they like to keep them private because I don't. That's what they do. They like to keep us in the dark. So just keep streaming. Now I got people telling me, yo, I'm playing it on like three different computers and my phone right now. Hey, if do what you got to do. Can I get a woo? You know what I mean? Damn, Ayo hey, Prof, you texted me, probably just messed up this video. Just So if this video cuts out at the end, it's because Mumfu Prof texted me. So uh, everybody, that is, it's going to be his fault. If it abruptly ends, it's because of him. Uh, so let's get into the point of this video. Let's get into the point. Let's get into the real meat and potatoes. Meat and potatoes. Let me go shut off this light first in the back. Uh, odds are this is going to just randomly cut off for no reason. So if it abruptly cuts off and it doesn't have a good ending, that's why. I'm just telling y'all right now, I can't control, I can't do much to do. I can't do much to fix it. So, um, Hot New Hip Hop just dropped a brand new article. Well, I mean, they, they dropped it on October 22nd, so I think yesterday. Anyway, Eminem's Kamikaze officially earns plat, plat only in the United States. Now, for some reason, I mean, I know, cause we are, we're from the US, so that's what matters. That's what matters to most of people. So, Eminem's 10th studio album has officially gone platinum. He's dropped 10 albums? Jesus Christ. Studio albums are different too, cause damn, that's not even counting mixtapes, EPs, God damn. Maybe it's counting EPs, anyway. At the end of August, we were met with a massive surprise as Eminem released his latest album out of absolutely nowhere. Many have taken this route of surprise drops as it benefits them in the past. Now, the reason why, let me break that down. As artists, uh, the new wave kind of is doing um, no promo on your stuff before it drops is because artists are doing that to adapt to the the, the, the shortening attention span of people. Artists are doing that too. The attention span is getting so low, so small that you could promote it. it. It's no longer the three month, half a year rollouts that people used to do because in two months, every few weeks, hip hop completely resets. So now, because the attention span is so short, so you're essentially as a label or as a businessman, you're losing, you're wasting money promoting a thing that's not already there. So for instance, if somebody says, if you see a meme or you see something that's talking about, hey, yo, this album's gonna be fire, right? And it gets your attention. If that thing isn't, if the thing that is promoted isn't there for me to consume automatically there, there's a good chance with all the stuff that I that we see in a given day standing in front of these computers or these uh, 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 phones, we just consume so much that we might forget. So really, success in this era comes after the project drops. So that's why they're doing it, essentially. And the fact that M has galvanized... Uh, attention for his album for this album for two months in 2018 is big it's very big people are just as invested in this album now as when it initially dropped you know what i mean make sure y'all streaming that strictly for the fans ep man we are going to be uh, 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 uh getting selling physical copies tonight on the live stream last live stream i sold a grip of physical copies you know what i mean i signed them uh, uh, and I mailed them off all by myself yesterday. It took a whole day. Doesn't matter. We sold like 15 or 15 or 20 on the live. My goal is to sell 200 physical CDs. If I can sell 200 physical CDs on this project, that means a lot. That's going to open up a lot of new doors. That's going to change a lot of conversations because the ability to sell a physical product like that, especially with where I'm at right now, 200 to three, that's big. That's huge. Right now we're at like 30 albums sold. It's only been out for like three days, right? So just think about it, man. 
30 albums sold, 170 left. We started with 200, right? And I know it sounds like oh, 107, that's a lot. Listen, I'm just setting a goal to sell a certain amount every live stream. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Just keep hitting me up for physical copies. It's doing a lot for the brand. They're only uh, $13 after everything, or 15 on the live streams uh, after everything, but it, it does more for me than a lot of things, honestly. So anyway, back to this thing. M decided to try and end up, uh, try dropping without um, a surprise album, ended up paying off as Kamikaze is seen as the most exciting album of the entire year. I don't just think it's the most exciting album of the entire year. I think it's the most in, in, exciting album that M has dropped in the last decade. None of the R albums to me are anywhere near, it's not even about good, it's about impactful. I feel like the R albums, Revival, Recovery, Relapse, they were more for Eminem fans. They didn't really break the ethos of the hip hop culture. By the way, if this cuts out, I'm just telling you right now, my phone is acting crazy, so I apologize. But I'm gonna have to let that one rock. I'm not shooting this again. This would be my, my fourth time if I shoot again. Anyway, let me do a metaphor with that because some people not, might not understand what I'm saying. Okay, so when I live stream, right? If you pay attention to my live stream, my biggest live streams are obviously when something new drops. Whether it's Kanye, Wayne, M, even MGK. Those are by far, hands down, the biggest streams. And do you know why? Because I'm tapping into the ethos of the hip hop culture. Those are the ones that are done to galvanize new fans, bring more people to the product. The other streams I do usually by the way i stream mondays wednesdays and fridays thursdays sometimes too just make sure y'all tune in shout out to the uh, donos in advance um shout out to everybody's gonna buy a cd today shout out to anybody's gonna donate for a freestyle y'all literally keep this going because youtube pays us in kibbles and bits so <laughs> and a lot of people be like Yo, school, you should start a Patreon. You should start a Patreon. And I see, because uh, like, there's other YouTubers that have Patreon. People be donating multiple thousands of dollars a month. And I'm like, listen, instead of doing that, because people donating to a Patreon is kind of weird to me. I used to have Patreon, but Patreon makes it like if you forget to unsubscribe. I don't want to do it like that. I just do it. Listen, if you want to help this brand out, Donate to the PayPal or watch the live streams and donate in the live streams because I always give you something for your donation right then and there. Whether it's a freestyle, whether it's a CD, whether it's a shout out, I give you something right then and there because that makes me feel a lot more comfortable than people just paying monthly and then me just assuming that money is going to come without me really doing much. But um, we're also going to be talking tonight. Today, what we're really going to be talking about is this Vic Mensa diss track, breaking down lyrically. I don't know if I already said that because I filmed this like three times. Breaking down the lyrics and I got a video coming. So, yeah. And it also is going to be another listening party after it. I want everybody to go and listen to it. You know the listening parties after the live stream. Everybody goes and listens to the same song and we all talk about it, put the comments on there. Then we go to the Discord and we have a little after party about it. So I want to see us go from 11,000 views today. Cause remember we're yellow. So every view counts. I want us to go to 11,000. If we can get by the end, of, by the beginning of tomorrow, if we can get 16,000 views, I'll be very, ha very happy. So, the project commercially, uh, I mean, uh, the legendary rapper felt a need to redeem himself after letting his fans down in Revival. Revival was a big letdown, but what I do respect about Revival is it gave us kamikaze. And I do not feel, I am very happy people hated Revival. And I'm very glad that they're vocal about it. And I'm very glad that because when people hated Revival, the difference between people who hated Revival and hated Kamikaze is there was very, very legitimate gripes of Revival that, but that Kamikaze addressed head on. The reason why I don't really... It annoys me a little bit when people argue about Kamikaze or say they hated it, it was a bad album, was I, I kind of have to ask, what was your opinion on Revival to figure it out? Because if... If you didn't like Revival for certain things and then he corrects, it's like, bro, not every, not, an, a, one album is not going to contain everything, all right? 
It's going to be a lot of balance, checks and balances. So the project was commercially successful. Uh, uh, the legendary rapper and his fans down, market, marking the return of Slim Shady with Kamikaze. That's the difference. Slim Shady came back in Kamikaze. The project was commercially successful too as it has just been revealed that he has earned platinum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this point, it'd be a little weird if Eminem doesn't go platinum. That's what I said in the beginning. It's more a question of when. The answer to that question is today, which was the 22nd, M got uh, uh, platinum. And then keeps going on by that. But why to me, even though it's like people are like, okay, so why is it so crazy if you knew that he'd do it? It's not that it's crazy. It's that it goes back to my over... If you haven't been paying attention, all my videos this year has an, had an overarching theme. And what is that theme? Hip hop is back. 2018 at least was the year of the lyricist, especially towards the second half of it. Let's carry this into 2019. Now for everybody who stuck around to the end of this video, I got a question, hip hop question, and I'm gonna be looking to see who answers it right. What album went platinum quicker, Revival or Kamikaze? <laughs> That's a good question, I got my real question bag there. Put it in the comment section below. Keep streaming Strictly for the Fans EP. People are hitting me up every day, telling me that that's their favorite project of mine. Even the new people, like, yo, this is dope. L listen, you know what makes my day? What <gasps> takes my breath away? Every time I see someone screenshot me that they purchased the album or uh, digitally, or when somebody hits the Strictly for the Fans EP at gmail.com and asks for a physical copy, or somebody even screenshots them listening to it. I ain't nothing but just a, just a nigga with a basement where the tiles ain't all there. You know what I mean? <laughs> y'all make me feel like I'm really important. See y'all today at 8 p.m. Eastern. I love y'all to the, from the bottom of my heart. F Vic Mensa to the bottom of my heart. Oh, so y'all keep uh, commenting, liking, streaming. Let's get that to 16,000 views by the end of the day. Uh, uh, uh. And I'm dropping a video to that too. By the way, I got a goal. For the next video i'm gonna drop for strictly for the fans i think when we hit let me just say since we at 30 right now when we hit i want to say 100 but i'm gonna be nice when we hit 80 albums sold Let's let's put a let's put a big goal. Fifty more albums, so we sold thirty in two days. I will drop. I will start dropping videos for strictly for the fans. So it's on y'all when y'all want to see it. Hit me up for physicals. Yitty.